Let me see. Give me five, Let two, me eight. Zoom eight. That was gorgeous. That was wow. Look up. Wow. Give me down. Thank you. I gotta fix this lash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? Man, if you could tell by my demeanor, I am giddy. I am just laughing my ass off. I don't know what's in the water. I think, I think it's cool to be against the Democrat party because again, if you're a celebrity, yeah. It seems like all of them are dumping the Democrat Party and endorsing Trump. Now, a few months ago, I did a post about Miss Cardi B over here, who was fed up with New York uh, politics. She was fed up with Mary Adams. The rats was taking over their city, and she was very worried. And a $5 million budget cut in sanitation. Of a budget cut in sanitation. Bitch, we're going to be drowning with rats. We're going to be drowning in f***ing rats. And now, um, she comes out and says she's not endorsing Biden. Biden was horrible, and she even regrets endorsing Biden. No! 180 turn. Now, she said something very funny. or well, not funny, but she said something that was very uh, poignant, that just because she got some money, she feels it also. When I be complaining about food prices, and y'all motherfuckers be like, "Ain't you rich? Why you complaining about lettuce? Why you complaining about this?" That just goes to show me when you be when you become successful, when you have money, you gonna fucking you gonna go broke soon because y'all not budgeting. I get a summary of the money that's being spent in my home every week. So when I'm starting to see that like groceries is like tripling up, it's like, hey yo, what the is going on i want to see for myself what the fuck shit is being spent on and like when i go to the fucking supermarket like i went to the supermarket i'm seeing that everything tripled up that like lettuce was like two dollars a couple of months ago and now it's like fucking seven of course i'm gonna say something the fuck because if i think that shit is crazy i could only imagine what middle class people or people in the hood is motherfucking thinking so yes i'm going to say something the fuck and i have a big platform so if she's going through it and she's watching her pennies and she says if she's going through it she could imagine what the middle folks and the hood folks are going through we're not we're going through some shit right now like say it say it we really going through uh, we, we, we really 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 are f right now yeah, this is Cardi B, guys. A few years ago, four years ago, when Biden was running, she did an interview, okay? The WAP singer sat down with Mr. Biden here and gave softball questions, and he still fumbled it. Well, first thing first, let me keep it a buck. I just want Trump out. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like his mouth gets us in trouble so mm. much. I don't want to be be lied to. I don't I don't want that like, you know we're dealing with a pandemic right now, right? And I just want answers. I want to know when this is over. Like you know, I want to go back to my job. I want to I want to be able to go outside. I want to be able not to feel like I'm trapped in my home. And but I don't want somebody to lie to me and tell me that it's okay to go outside. It's okay not to wear a mask. You know what? If I kill somebody, I got to go to jail. You got to go to jail, too. That's all I want. So now it's it says a lot that somebody who was endorsing Biden says now she's endorsing nobody. I'm fine with that. She don't endorse Trump. Fine. She not she not voting for Biden. That's all I care. If you don't want to vote for Trump, I get it. 
sit your ass home, especially if you're a Democrat. If you don't want to vote, if you don't want to participate, I'm fine with that. Sit your ass down. You have a right to vote and you also have the right not to vote. If you want to exercise your votes and sit down at home, cool. Okay. If you really feel that Biden is not doing the job, don't go in and vote for him just because he's a Democrat and just because you're black. All right. So if you don't want to vote for Biden and you want to sit at home, I endorse that. And I'm behind you 100 percent. Now, if you feel like you want to turn and want to endorse Trump because you believe in what he's saying, you come out and vote for Trump. But if you don't believe it and you don't want to sit in line, I'm cool with that. OK, but if you're a Democrat and you also feel disenfranchised, don't go and vote for Biden just because everybody's doing it. All right. If you feel like Cardi B, sit your ass home. Now, not only that, we have that celebrity there, right? We also have one of these dancing with the stars. <laughs> she used to date Mr. Kanye West. We all know Kanye West is a original black MAGA. He's also one of them that started off with the Blexit with Candace Owens. And now we have Miss Amber Rose over here. She posts this on her Instagram and it says on the bottom, MAGA 2024. Yes. Amber Rose. Mm-hmm. The slut walk. Yeah, that Amber Rose. I'm fine with it. You know what I'm saying? She says what she believes that Biden was horrible. Biden does not care about black folks. And she says it. She believes it also. And some of you knuckleheads here still believe that this old white man, this old Dixiecrat, cares about black folks. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put y'all back in chains. Now, Mr. Biden has not done a commencement speech in any HBCUs in his whole four years as president. Now it's election season. He goes and takes his ass down to Merle House College. And he still sounds like an old ass racist here. What is democracy? If black men are being killed in the street, what is democracy? Betrayal of broken promises still leave black, black communities behind. What is democracy? You have to be 10 times better than anyone else to get a fair shot. And most of all, what does it mean, as we've heard before, to be a black man who loves his country, even if it doesn't love him back in equal measure? He says that you, black men, have to work 10 times harder to be equal as a white guy. Now, who the f*** believe that in 2024? Who believes that you got to work 10 times as hard to match up with the white guy? We still try to catch up with the Asian guys, the Indian guys. We ain't nobody try to, nobody studying y'all that we got to work 10 times as hard. Nobody believes that. Nobody believes that except you old coons, you old boomers, you old Gen X, you the only folks that believe that. Gen X, you people are lost. Gen Z and Gen uh, Millennials, they're not trying to work 10 times hard to make a point. But he is an old racist. They still believe that shit. He doesn't have any plan for the young folks, the young black folks to get out of this situation. He keeps using the same old line 50, 60 years ago. Golly, let that shit go. Day. You missed your high school graduation. You started college just as George Floyd was murdered. And there was a reckoning on race. It's natural to wonder if democracy you hear about actually works for you. George Floyd, nobody, that's not doing nothing for us. Talking about George Floyd is not going to do nothing for us in that situation right now. My inflation, my gas prices, my rent prices, my mortgage, it's not going to do nothing about talking about George Floyd. Fuck him. But nope, nope, Mr. Biden still using the same old line about George Floyd, and we're getting tired of it. Well, that's my commitment to you, to show you democracy, democracy, democracy is still the way. If black men are being killed in the street, we bear witness. For me, that means to call out the poison of white supremacy, to root out systemic racism, 
I stood up for George with George Floyd's family to help create a country. We don't need to have that talk. Now, again, I'd like to welcome Miss Amber Rose. Come on down, girl. Woo! Come on down. Jump on this Trump train. Let's go. <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn.